first and foremost, our number one concern is to make the show as good as it can be. We want to have a good time. We want to have a good show. We want to feel good about what we're doing. The reason for us being on tour is to go play music. A lot of people use it as an excuse to go drinking or as an excuse to find the best swimming holes in the country. And that's not our concern. It never was from the beginning. Sometimes people will come up to me and be like, you guys are crazy for touring as much as you do. It's like, if you're gonna be in a band, you should wanna play shows, right? Like, what the hell is the point if you're not gonna play? This is what most of the band ride is like. If you wanna get like a true, well actually it's more like, yeah. The asleep. fact that you're conscious really says <laughs> this experience apart. I know, I feel weird right now. It's like I'm meeting you all for the first time. <laughs> I just have this insatiable desire for sleep at almost any given moment of the day. It's like my ultimate drug. It just feels so good. Big pillow goes here, then you just insert, smash your face into Insert here. face. <laughs> That's it. It's awesome. Playing rock and roll definitely m makes me tired <laughs> the next day. But when I'm actually doing it, it's awesome. It's like the best, the best high that you can <laughs> Like doing that complete sentence. Oh. Rose Mountain. Alright. Marissa, this is a classic room. Hello, I'm Marissa. Yes. From the band Screaming Females, New Brunswick, New Jersey. We have a new record coming out in February of 2015 called Rose Mountain. So there's a titular song. Never before have we had a titular song. You heard it here first. Well, it's sort of an Rose ugly there, an ugly there was a song called Something Ugly. Not titular. Eh. It's just not. Sort of. <laughs> uh, there is a rehabilitation clinic in New Brunswick, New Jersey. Uh, it's called Rose Mountain, and I just thought that it was a really lovely and poetic combination of words. I saw it an awful lot when we were home, driving in and out of the city, back and forth from doctors, like in North Jersey and stuff, my parents' house, kind of being like, I wish someone would rehab my sick ass. We write all of the songs together, and in the past, we would have uh, we would have written a full arrangement with, with just the three of us, and there would be all kinds of guitar solos and melodic bass parts and cool drum fills and everything, and, and we would kind of eat up all of the space in the song. And this time around, we would write like the shell of the song, and then let Marissa go home and come up with like a really cool vocal melody. And then we'd finish it once that was in place. And we'd give her a little bit more room to, to sing because she uh, has gotten really good at it. I don't know, if you listen to our first album, she's still a much better singer than I am. No, but uh, but but she's not nearly, a, she wasn't nearly as good as she is now. But I've got some pipes too. We recorded our album Ugly at Electrical Audio. Leading into that release, we were just on the biggest roll we had ever been on as a band. It just felt like we could do no wrong, and we went and did this kind of unthinkable thing of cutting a record with Steve Albini. When the album came out, there was all these amazing reviews, and it really felt like people were starting to understand us from the media perspective in a way that maybe they hadn't before. There had always been this focus on just kind of like 
Marissa's small, she plays guitar. And it was, for the first time, felt like people were understanding a little bit more about what we've been trying to do. So it just felt like we were like, unstoppable. Uh, your friends are from Jersey style? Yeah, here, you, you give this man a chair. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like this. Huh? this doesn't bother That's me exactly at all. That's exactly how you do it. This is exactly how we. This, this is, is how fine. we. Like after the nails. This is exactly how we practice. You put your head I in the rafters. I think I can pretty much go, go I think even the everywhere. This, this is, is perfect. I like this. I feel powerful. This Marissa's in her element. Hey, we all have to bow down to you. Check me out. Move freely. Yeah, yeah. 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 But this is actually, this is the, I mean, this is, I practice here. Every band I was in practice in this spot. That's and cool. even still practice here. Like, this is, I love it down here. Super quiet, super, like, intimate. Yeah. I've been here since 81, so it's 33 years I've been in this spot. Wow. Please won't you bury me on Rose Mountain. ugly we went on tour and I think it must have been a weekend and I was like oh I'm getting sick I always get sick a weekend like it'll go away and it just didn't it didn't go away and I started dry heaving I had a really terrible cough my throat was swel swelling up when you're in that situation so far from home and you're working and money's tight and time is tight it's just it's it's more difficult than people want to chalk it up to be. I'm sure a lot of people would be like, oh, just get on, on a plane and fly home. But I didn't want to get on a plane and fly home. I wanted to play shows with my band. Like, I didn't want to let anybody down. It, it would be letting myself down, too, you know? Like, I wanted to do it. I wanted to, to be there for myself and for all the people I love. I just remained sick up until the end of that tour, basically. Um, we had to, yeah, we had to cancel, like, our week and a half or two weeks home uh, and we finished our leg with garbage and then drove straight home from Houston, Texas and it was fucking depressing and upsetting and scary and it was a horrible experience. It doesn't matter though because we don't even have to tour with Dinosaur Jr. for people to write about us having toured with Dinosaur Jr. I know. It's right, almost right like we it. still did it. I got my blood work back, and every time I got it back, they'd be like, oh, you have mononucleosis. And I'd be like, okay, I know, but there's all this other stuff happening to my body that I can't explain. Like, I feel like my skin is shrinking. I feel like my body, my, my muscles are being, like, torn in half. Like, I can't sleep. I don't want to eat. Like, everything was falling apart and um no one could explain it to me and it was it was just really hard it was totally nuts because we didn't know if we were ever going to be a band again uh we didn't know if marissa was ever going to actually be able to get over this and get in a van and sit there for hours again and then i got home from this tour and i was like i need to find a job right now because we had lost all this money not lost money. We had we lost money that we were expecting to be able to hold on to, and money that we had invested in the record that didn't come back because we weren't able to support it the way we would have liked. Yeah, it was a miserable couple months after that. I officially have a diagnosis of something called fibromyalgia, which is a fake disease that they tell you you have when they don't know what's wrong with you. So, 
It all, might all be in my mind, I don't know. But even if it is, it still hurts. So. All the people that should have heard, should have heard ugly not hearing it, I think, goes back to what I was saying earlier. It's like, if you want people to care about your band, you have to play shows. And we kind of just didn't really play a lot of shows to support that album, but we just we weren't able to. And I feel like that was the point in our career where if we were any other band, we would have broken up. <laughs>